Oh my god, they were good! Vlog fam, I'm Two Tracks, and you're watching Two Tracks Eats, and we're gonna try various different biscuits, thin biscuits to be exact. And I can't do this by myself; I need a special guest. So let's get our special guest in. Hey, I'm Digimon, and I'm here to steal biscuits. The first ones we have are no. So the first ones we have are these, which are the dark fitty fins. They are really good. What are we doing? <laughs> So first we have our Medvitis Dark, and they look really good, and they look like this on the back as well. So yeah, they're really good, so we're going to move those off to the side. And then, secondly, we're going to be trying these, which are a milk biscuit thing, and these look different all sides. Are you struggling to move them in? Yeah. So now we have our Oreo Fins, and I really like Oreos, and I did a video on various Oreos, you can find that somewhere up there. So yeah, we have Oreo Fins. And lastly, we've got Maryland Fins, which is a chocolate chip biscuit, or cookie if you're in America, and these are the ones I'm looking forward to. So first off, we're going to try these ones, which are the McVitty Digestives Fins. These are just milk chocolate, so yeah, we're going to open these and give them a try. So they didn't lie about how thin they were as well, they're like, just like razor thin, they're really thin and they have chocolate on the other side, so if you want to get one and try one as well. Yeah. Oh goodness me. I know. See how thin they are, they're really thin. And if you want to go on a diet? Well, don't have biscuits. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to try them now. So they were really, really good. They taste like uh, normal digestives, but really thin, which is self-explanatory really from what they are. So how did you find them? I found them delicious. Oh yeah, yeah. really good. I yeah. mean, you got the biscuit enthusiast over here that loves biscuits. So yeah, they were really good. Yeah, definitely. So now we're going to get on to the next ones. And next we're going to try the Oreo Thins. Yep, they look really yeah. good. Yeah, they look delicious. Right, I'm going to open them now. Yeah, it looks like we're getting them uh, in two separate packets. Yeah. This is a bit different, it's like a packed lunch packet almost. Yeah, one each. No. And here we are, we've got the typical looking Oreo, but when we turn it to its side, you can see that it's not. It's quite actually funny that these are actually more expensive than normal Oreos. Yeah, less these, ingredients yeah, as well. But these were £1.9 and Oreos usually are, depends on if they're on sale, but they're usually about 70p. Are and they? then 50p if they're mm. on sale, yeah. So I'm going to get one as well and then we can give it a try. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I love these. They're good, but what's the point? <laughs> when in the cream? They were really good. Um, I actually like how thin they are. I was When I was biting down on it, I was feeling like, where's my cream? But then after like biting down and eating the whole biscuit, I felt like it was a good idea because you're not like getting a bit overwhelmed with too much biscuit when you're biting down on it, and I think it's a really good concept. I really enjoyed them. I thought they were really tasty. Be perfect with a cup of coffee. That's actually not a bad idea, yeah. Like dipping it in the coffee. Yeah. I, actually, I can imagine them disappearing in a cup of coffee. Yeah, true. Let's do the spin test and let's see if they actually, like, do the spin test. I think it's just going to snap in half. You think it... Oh! Yeah. It just crushed under my fingers. It was not, it was not a good idea. <laughs> so next we have uh, these Maryland fins. And I've tried ones that had caramel filled in, and they were absolutely amazing. So I'm looking forward to trying these. These are the ones that my mum judged as being a favourite. So we'll see if they hold up to her hype. So let's open them. So these are a bit different as well. They come in like two different sections. So yeah, we're going to get them open and then give them a try. It was crazy. We could smell them as soon as they got open. They look like this, just some ordinary cookie. And they're not just thin, but they were really small as well. But yeah, we're going to give them a try and see how they taste. Oh my god, they were good. They were really good. They were a lot thicker than the other biscuits. And they tasted very, like, oaty. It was uh, the first thing that I thought when I tried them. I wonder if they actually are oats. Oh, let's have a look. So yeah, it doesn't say anything about it being oaty. So yeah, they taste a bit oaty to me, but it doesn't say that here, so I guess they're not. I'm quite surprised. So yeah, we're going to move them off to the side now, and then we'll try the next one. And next we're going to try 
the, the next lot of digestive things with dark chocolate this time. Yep, we left this one till the end because dark is usually quite a, a bitter taste and we didn't want it to mess up the taste buds. Yep. Okay, so we shall open them yep. and see what they're like. And it's the same idea as the previous packet. As you can see, they're similar to the previous digestive packet. Let's open them and try one. We've got dark chocolate on one side and biscuit. And that's how thin they are. Here's the tasting. So they didn't really taste a lot. When I thought they were going to be bitter and mess up the taste buds, they really disappointed in that factor. I uh, agree. Yeah, my mum was saying um, while we were chewing that she preferred the actual milk chocolate ones, which I agree with completely. A lot better. Yeah. So now we're just going to go on to rating them. So we're going to review them separately since we might have different views. We'll see how it goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put normal digestive cho uh, chocolate first. Then I'm going to go with the actual Oreos. Next, then the Maryland, and then the dark, since the dark really had no, like, almost no flavour. So yeah, I'm going to rate them, and I would put these ones and give them about a 6 or a 7. I'd give these about a 6, give these a 5, and I'd give these 3 or a 4. So yeah, that's my rating, and now we're going to leave it on to my mum. Right, last will be the dark digestives, and then third will be the milk chocolate digestive, second will be the Oreos, and then first, ultimate favourites, have to be the chocolate chip thins. My scoring would be 4 out of 10 for the dark chocolate digestives, I'd say a 6 out of 10 for the milk chocolate digestive, I would say a 7 out of 10 for the Oreos, and I'd give the Maryland Thin a 9 out of 10. The they are absolutely delicious. It's quite a big score. So we weren't really a lot different from ordering like the way we, we put them because all I did was I put these first and then these in that place. So really all that's been switched to those two. We're quite similar. Does that mean I get to take them all? No. Oh. So I've been Two Tracks. And I've been Digimon. And you've been watching Two Tracks eat various different biscuits. Fins to be exact. Don't forget to like, subscribe and pull that bell button. My Snapchat logo will be somewhere up there and a link to my Instagram and Twitter and donation links and my mum's social media will be in the link in the description below. And we'll see you back on Wednesday. Wednesday! Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, Miss Mom, sorry I was careless. Change this while I thought that we were strangers.